I, I see attention from a few people. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Um, my name is Diane Keough. Um, I, I think I know a lot of you here, or at least I know your names. Um, uh, I don't see your faces quite often enough. So we're going to kick this off. Um, Rudy is going to start the GoTo meeting because we will have people um, all over the country and, um, and throughout the world um, joining us today. So are we ready, Rudy? All right. Okay. So thank you for coming. I've got. I'm gonna. I'm gonna breeze through my um, welcome really quickly, um, and then jump into the real meat of the um, the uh, program. So first, first and foremost, thank you for our event sponsors. Um, we have Persistent, um, Essex Management, DBMI, Harvard Catalyst, and Axiomedics, who are uh, sponsors for the the program um, this year. Um, without these sponsors, we would have a hard time um, feeding you. So thank you very much. Um, the agenda is is quite packed, um, but I think it's a I think it's a pretty exciting agenda. What we did this year was we focused on a number of um, very you know exciting keynote speakers, um, and then of course um, our uh, uh, Sean, Rudy, and Paul will be talking about the platforms and things that are uh, that we're focus focusing on around the platforms. And then we heard a lot of people talk about case studies and the importance of really sharing how people are really using um, the, these um, platforms platforms. So we've got a number of case studies and then of, of course some time for my sponsors. The second day, for those of you that weren't here last year, the second day is at Countway Library. Um, it's about a 10 minute walk from here. So it's not in this building, it's down the street. Um, uh, so what we've done is we've uh, broken this up into a morning and afternoon session. Um, throughout the day, we will have a, a live streaming for the Precision Medicine um, Conference that, that Zach, wherever he is, um, runs. Um, we had a little scheduling conflict um, this year. Normally we don't overlap on those two conferences, but that will be live streaming in one of the rooms. Um, we'll, we will have a, an all day um, from 10 to 4 drop-in session for the ITB2 Transmart platform and all of the Paul Aviak and his development team will be there to answer questions. And then we broke it out between the working groups. Um, we have very active working groups that have been working on a lot of stuff. Um, a three and a half hour act session. And then at the end, we're gonna be talking about a new uh, uh, foundation committee that, um, that we're kicking off on technology and then an open discussion um, with the, the foundation leads. So tomorrow will be a great um, time. Last year at this meeting, we kicked off, actually I think Zach kicked off a, a contributing um, sponsor program. Um, and so I'm, I'm happy to say that um, we, we have, it, it has bared fruit and we're, um, we are, uh, people are joining. Um, at the top are the academic um, institutions that have joined, uh, bottom are the vendors. Um, this is a very important um, sponsorship program to the, the foundation. Um, we also have one uh, corporate sponsor, um, one lead to two, so we're ready for that second one to join us, but thank you to, uh, to CADA. And then sustain, sustaining sponsors. So these are these are organizations that provide, um, you know, in-kind support um, in in the form of uh, uh, FTEs and, and that type of thing. So great group of people. Thank you very much. Um, so this is the third year. Now the European academic um, groups have been meeting for for many years, probably eight or nine years. But this is the third year in a row that the the ITB2 Transmart Foundation is. Um, is working with the group. So I just want a little highlight. Okay, so 2017 was Paris. We had a wonderful meeting um, in Paris. Last year, Geneva was beautiful. Um, yeah, we, we had a we had a dinner um, dinner cruise on the on the on Lake Geneva. It was wonderful. Anyway, so this year I'm happy to say that the University of Tubingen in Germany um, is uh, providing um, support for this. Um, so this is a, a wonderful organization and I'm very excited. Um, it's my first time in Germany, so I'm excited. And we've just started the planning for this conference, um, but one of the things that um, they did talk about right up front is uh, a dinner and a castle. So please come to Tubingen and, uh, and join me in this castle. I'm actually gonna take a couple of week vacation after this. So if anybody's from Germany, please talk to me. I wanna, I, want, I need some advice. Um, so community engagement is really important um, to, to this foundation. Uh, community is what this is all about. So I just wanted to um, make one mention um, of our membership program. 
Um, we have 96 uh, people that are currently um, foundation members, and we will we will have another nomination uh, process this fall. Um, that member uh, organization does things like it nominates the board of directors, it nominates new members, and it also created all of the working groups that we have in place. And these are pretty active working groups. We have uh, 140 individuals um, within the community that are participating in these groups. So I, uh, you know, hats off to the the chairs of those um, those committees. Um, what I'd really like to do is expand this and really talk about doing more with um, the members and more with the community. So I'm just this is a challenge. I'm trying to recruit somebody who would actually be a chair of the the membership program uh, to help us uh, facilitate. Um, regular meetings i'm thinking maybe a quarterly meeting maybe setting up something around maybe something in europe maybe something around the amia um, meetings here in the u.s that type of thing um, we also have a training program um, this is also community driven um, community members volunteer their time once a month to provide training um, all of this training is um, recorded and available on our website um, so we've had over 500 people trained um, uh, through this process so far so I just wanted to mention, we have a, a new, this is brand new, a new committee on technology. Um, thanks to Griffin Weber, who is chairing this. We're just kicking this off right now. And it's really talking about looking at, um, you know, the platforms, trying to help people uh, expand the use. Um, things like how to install the, the, um, the platforms, um, ease of use documentation, that type of thing um, is really important, kind of uh, cataloging the things that are out there. So many people have done some amazing things with, with um, these platforms um, and sharing um, their stories is, is something that um, we, we feel like will be really uh, valuable. Um, you know, and also opening it up and, and putting together guidelines for for contributions um, and that type of thing is, is something that we haven't done a lot of, uh, especially on the ITB2 side. Transmart is another story, but we really want to open that up and 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 start to um, get the community to work together. Um, this committee will be open to uh, the community, and we'll have it um, on our website. You'll be able to sign up um, in the under the uh, working group um, session. So, more to more to come, and tomorrow there's a session that we'll, um, we'll dig deeper in, in here. Um, and and um, also, we really do care about um, what you think about these meetings. So there's a survey we'll be sending out sometime today. Um, I always find it's really good to get people to fill out their surveys during the couple of days of the conference um, so they don't forget. So we will be sending out a survey um, soon, and um, we want to hear your feedback. So those were my quick remarks, and I think the next is uh, vendor Yuri, Yuri, come on up.